Oh my god. Hello and welcome to the 6th episode of my car review series. Today we are reviewing the Honda S2000 2001. I've literally just done an internet restart because my internet was being so annoying. I literally went through 20 servers and every single server did exactly the same timeout. Um, so, once these icons load in, which shouldn't take too long, I may be wrong. There we go. We have 532 performance points. Our max power is 463 brake horsepower. Our weight is only a ton, or 1039 kilograms, depending on your country that you live in. And we are running 37 kgfm torque and 2.24 power to weight ratio, so it's going to be very good. Uh, let's just check this to make sure everything is perfectly running smooth. And let's get into the video. Well, you are in a video already, but you know what I mean. Get into the track. This is a track day, so we won't have any people messing around, which is what I've always wanted. <laughs> not mess around when I'm in there, probably. Oh, that really sounds nice, that initial launch. Oh, since like JDM Turbo. I'm just going to nip in here, just behind here, because no one should come, come flying past here. So we have the rear of the car, and the front of the car. Looking swell. Yep. We have the, uh, there's nothing to look at there. This is the, again, this is why I don't use the interior, because it just looks so pathetic. And the bonnet view, which is what I will be using. Once this car has gone past. Oh, it won't go past, okay. I'm gonna go. Tesla. Ugh, oh, that was annoying, it got in the way. Okay, so initially this car is quite. Um, the, the, the rear tyres seem to be quite loose in a way. They're, uh, they're not very ideal for track racing. I don't know why you're honking at me, I haven't done anything wrong. He's the one who went behind me. Yep, I can make this car drift. It's just when I... Uh, hmm, not. When I recover the drift by like counter-steering, that's the word I was looking for. When, when I counter-steer, um, the counter-steering is very strong, so... That's, that's not helping when you're trying to drift. Um, you really need steering wheel to drive this car. Which is rather unfortunate as my steering wheel isn't really a steering wheel. It's just a controller that's been made into a steering wheel. Technically. That's the way it, that's the way it drives the handles anyway. I believe this is without chicane so it's not going to be as fun. I could be wrong. Uh, oh yeah, it has got chicanes. We just reached max speed, but I wasn't looking at what the speed was, so I have no idea what it was. The braking is very good. I just, I just found that out. The braking is astounding. It's just... It's almost as good as that Honda that I drove last episode. This is going to have to be a short episode, probably five, seven minutes, just because the internet will just crash if I stay in too long. So, I won't be, I've only been doing it about that. And hopefully it won't disconnect me when I try to... Exit the room. Uh, I'm scared. I'm really scared with this car. I think the braking is going to be terrible through previous experiences with Hondas. But this one seems to be very good. Just listen to that turbo, it sounds so nice. This sounds like a turbo should sound. It really does. I'm really glad this car sounds nice, because I was really hoping this car would be uh, a good car to drive. Okay, oh wow! It's better on the second gear. The second gear seems to be really good at braking. It's, it's handy. This car has 10,500 revs, but I kind of... I don't know why my mind wants it to go to 11,000. So I end up... Keep me in the gear for too long. So I can reach that top speed again. I think it's 186 or something like that. Oh, it just it just clipped that grass, just made it spin out of control. 
Oh dear. I'm gonna probably wait for Spigatti to pass. Because he's gonna annoy me if I don't. Oh, so that's a Lamborghini. Okay. Thought it was a Bugatti. Yeah, so you can make this car drift if you wanted to. It just, it is, it's a, uh, it's a reliable car. That's, that's a good word to say. It's a car which, uh, you know, you you you, uh, you make it drive track day, like, or like a track day car. And it drives like a track day car. You make it like a drift car, and it tries as best it can to be a drift car, even though it's not very good at it. If you were using this car as a drift car, I would definitely put the uh, gearing a bit longer, probably. Um, I'm using the second and third gears to interchange. Uh, and possibly the camber and, and toe and stuff like that would need to be changed. just Because it just, you know, the counter steer is just too strong. And I don't know how you're supposed to fix the counter steer. This car is, is overall, it's a very nice car to drive. It's just a bit tricky to control when you're drifting or spinning out around the corner. You'd be lucky to drive this well in the in the uh, Oh, this car is so scary. Yeah, this car's fun. It separates pretty well for a for a for a mid five hundred. Car. See, I'm catching up to this Gallardo, so obviously it's a pretty good car if I can keep up with the Gallardo. You know, <laughs> you can't really say much more than that. I'm just admiring the sound of this car, it just sounds so nice. I'm really enjoying it. As you can tell, I'm braking better than this Gallardo as well. Oh wow, that was amazing. A three car overtake. That was just brilliant. Oh, Rosie, can I? Oh no, he's going to go over there. Wow, this is just amazing. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> okay, the max speed is probably 185 to 186. Oh, he's braking! Okay, I didn't know it was going to break right in front of me, that was a bit scary. This car must be good if there's a Gallardo behind me, which is actually pulling away, wasn't pulling, yeah, I'm pulling away from the Gallardo. Not on the straights, but on the corners, definitely, he's, I'm much faster than him. Which is kind of a... I wouldn't imagine a, an S2000 to be beating a Gallardo round, but... Or Gallardo, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, uh, I'm surprised it would be beating it in the mud, but it is. I let it pass. I need to find out that it's faster than the Gallardo. Yeah, wow, this car. I'm really enjoying it. It's going to be one of my personal favourites, I think. It's again with the Honda. You need. It's got a unique. Uh, it's got a unique style of driving. For example, when I'm going into this corner, you know, if you try and just go f straight, um, just counter steering all the way left and then all the way right, it doesn't work. The car just spins out immediately. So you have to learn how to drive this car, just like the previous Honda that I was driving last episode. Yeah, it requires a different style of driving to normal. This one is slightly easier to drive than the Honda. I'd say that. But when you when the t rear tires start spinning out, that's when you really want to start worrying because the car just can't handle it. I don't don't hit the grass. Okay, it didn't hit the grass. That's good. I finally got a good run out of here. Looks like that Galala did did hit the grass though. <laughs> well, unlucky for him. That's exactly what I did last time. This corner's more shallow than I remember it. Yeah, definitely after this stuff, I'm, I'm gonna quit because I'm really pushing my luck now for the. Uh, it's like every. It's like if I go into a lobby, the uh, it's, it's like a time limit. 
In every lobby, the time limit changes, and you can select what time limit it takes for you to time out. Uh, which is kind of annoying. But I could, I could stay in this lobby maybe for another two minutes. I don't know. It, it could it could quit any time. I really don't know what will happen. It seems like just refresh the internet it should it should hold up until the end of this lap. This is such a fun car. It, it it looks quite boring from the uh, from my perspective right now, but it's just so much fun to drive. Uh, just like the RX-7. It's unique to drive, but it's so much fun. I can't figure out why it's too much fun. It's quite difficult to drive, but it's just, I'm just enjoying it so much. And there we go. Now I'm going to quit the lobby before I get kicked out. Um, so that was the episode. That was episode six of my car review series. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.